Brittany Renner is a peculiar female, right? She plays this game of villainous where she says what she wants to say and does what she wants to do and acts as if the consequences and repercussions never bother her. I would never want my son with a girl like her. <laughs> <laughs> but what she's good at is what I call the spirit of inversion. She'll take whatever is thrown to her, invert it into an outward insult, and then throw it back out at everyone else. And in the recent episode of this, she has tried to shame men who think YG is a fool for knocking her up. Now, YG didn't really knock her up, but he has a new single called Toxic. And the cover artwork, preliminary cover artwork anyway, is of Brittany Renner pregnant. And he's kneeling down in front of her, holding her stomach and kissing her baby bump. Now, people saw it and they're like, wait a minute, is this real? What is this? Has YG gotten her pregnant? Has YG, YG ought to be ashamed of himself? YG shouldn't do that. And Brittany Renner's response is kind of toxic. But I'm going to be honest with you, there's some truth to it based on men's actions out here. What she said is all of you men who are saying that YG shouldn't have knocked her up, acting as if getting her pregnant is the worst possible thing, would love the opportunity to not all in her and just deal with the consequences that come after that. In other words, Y'all so hard up to get laid that y'all would just throw caution to the wind. And whatever the consequences were on the end, whether it's getting your pockets broke down or whether it's coming up with some type of something you can't get rid of or whatever the consequence is, she's saying that she's so bad and y'all men are so weak that y'all would jump at the opportunity to do so. Now, that's partially true based on the actions of you men. Look at some of the women that these guys fly in and then get mad because they can't get laid. Look at the, some of the women these guys fly in and then can't get with the woman because she's not even who, she thought, who, who he thought she was. She's not even attractive when she shows up. What she shows online isn't what you see in person. At least we do know. What you see online with Britain is what you get in person because she'll show up to some way a la Jackson State. But here's the issue with what she's saying. To a man like me, who elevates myself above the level of what I can do physically to a woman, even though I can break some backs, savage pack, but I don't view it that way. There is nothing that's going to make me take the risk that comes with hitting her or any other woman wrong. I'm not doing it. And there are many men out here who feel the same way and can stand on it, even in the face of the pressure. Cause see, I'm the type of man where I look at a woman and I say, okay, if you've been with all of these guys, I'm paranoid, then you're gonna give me something. That's what I'm paranoid of. See, plan B can keep a woman from getting pregnant. Plan B can't keep you from getting something that you go to the doctor and they tell you, listen, sir, there is no cure for this. But it's funny that a woman can say this with confidence and women can jump in the comments and also beta male simp manginas can jump in the comments and say, yeah, you're right. And they ain't trolling. It is possible that she's right for the majority of men out here. Think about it. When you really think about what's going on, it is possible until you get to a certain level of man. And that level starts somewhere at an arbitrary position, and every man above that wouldn't do it. Cam Newton wouldn't give her the time of day. And he had the opportunity. BOA, given the opportunity, wouldn't give her the time of day. Why? Because there is a certain quality that I look for in a woman. There is a certain spiritual sanctity that I look for in a woman. There is a certain level of, of calm peacefulness that I look for in a woman. There's a certain level of stay your ass off social media that I look for in a woman. There's a certain level of non-toxicity 
that I look for in a woman. And many men feel the same. Now, am I saying that these men won't cut Brittany around? Nope. Because under the right circumstances, I might myself. But I ain't taking no chances on doing no knocking up. And I ain't taking no chances on then burning up. And that's what she's saying the majority of men would do. Now, I ask myself, out of all of the women in the world, why YG chose her to put in that position? Well, I guess she fits very well into the term toxic. And this isn't something for her to brag about. Like, she's happy that she's on a cover called Toxic because that's the energy that she wants to portray and relay. Here's what Brittany doesn't understand. She's getting older. Everything she's doing right now and everything she's saying right now is eventually going to come back to bite her. Karma goes both ways. Karma like men and women. She goes both ways. So she's going to have to deal with the consequences and repercussions of these things. The same way she's saying men will just go ahead and shoot her club up and then deal with the consequences. Yeah, everything she's saying right now, she's going to have to deal with the consequences of those things. But what I find funny is that men who jump in comments and come in on things like this probably would do that very thing they're coming in on. Because I couldn't imagine me jumping in the comments on a post. And ragging a man for having a woman on the cover. Even if he got her knocked up. Hey man, if you knock somebody up, then I probably make a piece of content about it. I ain't gonna even lie. <laughs> I ain't gonna sit here and tell you that lie. Because you already see how things turned out with her and PJ Washington. That's the thing that she doesn't understand. No, we already see how things turned out with PJ, the last guy who shot your club up and then ended up impregnating you. We saw how that turned out. None of us want that. Any man who wants that is just a man who can't get laid and he'll take it however he can get it. And some of these guys out here would marry Brittany Renner. I guarantee you there's guys out here. Some of your partners probably would marry Brittany Renner, man. Baby and all. Because many men out here don't have any standard except physical beauty. And let's be honest. Britt ain't the ugliest girl in the world. I'm not saying she's the prettiest, but she's closer to the good side than the bad side. So when you really think about it, many men will wife her. There are some men out here that would go ahead and light her club right on up. But for her to have the confidence to say that means it's based on something. And it's based on the fact that a bunch of y'all men be out here tricking. A bunch of y'all men be out here flying women in, taking women on trips, buying women cars, buying women homes. Boy, the way OnlyFans popping off, the way Seeking Arrangements popping off, man, the way all these sites where a woman can get paid popping off, man, y'all boys out here tricking. And if you'll spend your hard-earned money for it, man, ain't no telling what you'll do once you get hold to it. So I literally don't knock her for saying this because this is just her M.O. My thing is the fact that she brags about men would shoot her club up just goes to show that here's a woman who has embraced the fact that she's going to use what she has to get what she wants until they just don't get her what she wants anymore. And what I can respect is a hustle. But what I also can look at and say shortly in a very short period of time, coming soon to a theater near you, the wall banging phase of Brittany Renner. Then she won't be saying these things. She, she's hanging on to her last leg right now. She ain't the young tender Brittany Renner anymore. So eventually saying these things it's not going to look good on. Imagine Vivica Fox talking about, I know y'all would, y'all had the opportunity. Y'all come on. Vivica wouldn't dare say that. As bad as Vivica was when she was young, she wouldn't say that now. That's the same thing going to happen to Britney because she's going to have to keep this same energy when she hit the wall and get past it. When she's 45, 50 years old, she got to keep this same energy because we don't want to hear no more energy from her. It's the only energy we want from her. We don't want no more energy from her. And I want to see how cocky and confident she is when she has to say these things at a time where she's not going to even believe them anymore. And the moment she stops believing them, it's the very moment they're going to stop sounding believable to us as well. Many men would 
have written in her any way they could, even not strapping up. But the most alpha men among us wouldn't touch her at all. And those of us who are on the rise, striving to be the most alpha version of ourselves, sure wouldn't hit her wrong. Because we didn't already saw she don't live by no good girl law. Just ask PJ Washington. Y'all comment down below and let me know what you think about this topic, man. I look forward to hearing what you men have to say. I'm out. Baby, I know that you need somebody to make you feel like you somebody. But that's worth some paper, so buy me.